Hey vlog, what's up? So it is Friday. Happy Friday. So my week has largely been completely consumed by Bull's illness, activities, and homeschool. I, I all we do is homeschool lately, um, but it's mostly because we were so behind when we started that, um, you know, keeping up has been a challenge, but we are getting used to it. We're starting to adjust. We're starting to know what to expect every week. Grades are coming up. Everything's going really well. I'm seeing great results from the efforts I have put in to be Aiden's like stand-in teacher throughout the day and I'm seeing improvements based on how hard he has been working and it is it feels good so I've been kind of slow moving today I'm still not feeling well which is very frustrating hey vlogus interrupt us what's up oh, oops, never mind. <laughs> it's okay what do you need Oh, I, was just, I, I just thought you should put a watermark on your videos. Oh, you thought I should put a watermark on my videos? Do you think yeah. someone's gonna steal them? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think so. What was I talking about? Vlogmas has been a little difficult because I got knocked down with that sickness and that kind of put me behind on a lot of stuff, but we're not giving up. I'm just gonna couple some days together. It's fine. So Mike is going to see Ween tonight with his friend and he's going to be gone for the night. It's just me and Aiden home and I have some things to cook. I have some plants to clean and overall I'm just going to have it be a nice peaceful me night and we're going to try to get some things done. I would really like to be asleep and resting right now but um, that's not something that I can do. So we're gonna try and be efficient but in a gentle and self-loving way mm -hmm. so you guys can hang out with me okay so we're gonna get some plant chores accomplished today so i have my neem spray which is just neem and soap and water and i'm using the soap as an emollient to you know combine the oil and water because oil and water don't mix and then I have some gloves to keep the neem oil off my hands. Uh, we'll see how long that lasts. And paper towels, which I will use um, an environmentally insensitive amount of. Um, I apologize. I have a trash bag down on my table to keep the neem oil from getting on the table. And then I have some plants that I need to treat because they were near the plants that I saw the thrip on. So. I'm just treating them every three, four days, and so far, so good. Oh, and I forgot, I went to CVS today, and I actually got this cheap little elf brush, which is already falling apart, and I'm going to try Rachel from Heart Shaped Leaves method of using this to scrub all of the leaves with so that no spider mites or buggies are left behind. Genius, if you haven't seen that video, I will try to remember to link it somewhere. So for whatever reason, my microphone decided not to work very well during this whole entire part. And in this part, the sound was especially bad. So I'm just going to voice over here. Um, basically, I'm just soaking both sides of the leaves with the spray, making sure that I shake the bottle in between to make sure everything's mixed up good. And you're going to use your brush to get in every little crack and crevice of the stems and the leaves. And you're going to do this nice and gently so you don't rip leaves. So you just repeat this process for all the leaves on all your plants. And it's definitely not daunting or overwhelming at all. So I got all of these guys cleaned and treated just to make sure nothing crazy happens. I'll show you what we got going on here. So this one's kind of funny and sad because it just has this one tiny little leaf here. That is a Cissus adenopoda and it's it, it had other leaves but they fell off. Um, but I kept the faith and I just kept taking care of it and if you see if I can get it to focus. It's got a little bit of growth coming out right there. And then this uh, is a bunch of lace flower plants. And I basically cut up my big long vine because it was just, it, something was going on where the vines were kind of dying at the root or they'd get broken because they were hanging down. They're really fragile. So I decided to cut up one of the vines that got broken off and make some new plants. And so far 
I lost a few of them, but um, for the most part, they've all rooted down, and you can see there's little bits of new growth going there. And then I've got this Peperomia Ginny, which I can't see what's going on there, but you know, they're rooted in there, so something's happening. And this guy, right? This looks pretty sad, huh? So we get this crappy old leaf right here on this begonia, but again, I kept the faith and there is a tiny little begonia leaf right there coming out. There we go. Now you can see it. See? How cute is that? And then this is what is left. I'm sorry, Becca, if you're watching this. Uh, the Monstera Peru just, just kept trying to die on me and uh, thus far, this one remaining leaf has not died, nor has it rooted. <laughs> there are two very, very tiny, wispy little roots at the bottom of it. So it, it's doing something, you know? So we're just keeping the face, keeping it in moss for now. It's a little propagation greenhouse we got going on right now. And, um, you know, keeping them in this closed little environment lets me keep an eye on them. So if any pesty problems pop up, I can attack them all at the same time. I've also treated the whole top layer of the soil in all of these too, so just to make sure nothing's hiding there. So I'm going to pop these back in the greenhouse, and then I've got to treat the plants in the bathroom, and then I think I'm going to bake something. Show you guys some of the other stuff I got propagating around the house. So right here, I've got some lemon lime maranta cuttings. See, those have some perfectly ready to plant roots on them. I'm going to try not to squash. So I'm going to send these up to Kay from the Organized Soprano. She was saying she didn't have one of these, so I have quite a few propagations of these going around the house. So I'm going to send those over to her. She lives in Boston, or she's north of Boston right now, but uh, she's a Massachusetts gal too, so I'll be able to get this to her no problem before the cold consumes it. So down here I've just got some angel wing begonia propagations. I've noticed these seem to do better going right into the soil than they do in water, but I've, I decided to do both this time and see which one worked better, and so far the soil seems to be more productive. And then down here I have cuttings from the tip of the Monstera that I picked up at Logie's. Um, it just was trying to die on me really fast, and the second I took these cuttings off the tip, um, it seemed to perk right up and everything's doing fine. So I've just been treating this um, with neem and soap like once a week and just letting it root, making sure it's in a nice uh, bright but not direct light, and uh, so far it seems to be doing pretty well, so I'll be able to plant this again and start over. I've got the Hoya from Lyra right here. And then this cute little peperomia. I got this, of course, the day after I did my peperomia video. But it's a peperomia columnella. Columella? Columella. So yeah, column peperomia. Oh, this guy's falling down over here. Excuse you. I treated all of these last night. You would have seen that earlier. Um, so yeah, we were just, this one had the weird spots, so I decided to treat it as if it had pests, and um, I gotta say, I think it might have, so now it seems to be a lot happier. This gal over here was looking a little peckish for a while and is clearly responding well to being in the uh, hospital that is my kitchen. This is kind of where I bring my plants that I need to pay a lot of attention to because they're right by the sink. I can blast them off with water. I can treat them with neem. Look how like shiny and pretty the coleus looks because I treated it. Oh, speaking of coleus, I want to show you guys something. Ooh, here we go. So I'm going to try and find the um, a picture or some video of this coleus from like a month or two ago. I put these under the hidden harvest lights right around when Brad sent them to me and I did that video where I unboxed them and was showing you guys the lights and everything. Um, look at this. <laughs> this is the coleus that we made out of small baby tip cuttings in my coleus care video. So I'll try and put some video in so you can see the progress and I'll put on the screen how long exactly it's been but like 
These lights are no joke. This also only turns red in full sun. So there you go. And then here is my black coleus, my Othello coleus that was um, having a bad time. It was down to like two very long, like, um, you know, stringy strands of coleus. So I did the same thing. I took a lot of tip cuttings. I planted them down in the bottom. I cut the plant back and I put them under the hidden harvest lights. And yeah, look at that. So I also started... Um, these guys probably about a month ago and they've been growing away under the lights and this was from the last cutting that I did on the coleus that I let go for a while because it was so tall and cool but it did start to lose all its lower leaves so I took all the tip cuttings put them in another pot and this is how I just keep coleus alive just forever I've had this this particular plant in various forms um, for gosh probably six years now couple more babies hanging out under the lights. I have my Peperomia Piccolobanda, which uh, came from Houseplant Heather, and it's doing pretty good. It's got a tiny, tiny little baby leaves coming, so that's very exciting. And then I have my Lithops that are still doing good. Haven't killed them yet. Very excited. This is a fun little update on this guy. This one cutting, this one piece right here, um, was the cutting that I planted. I had a few of them from my friend Shannon and only one of them made it. Um, but yeah, look what it's been doing. It's going good. And then this past week, it just started to shoot out this guy right here. Look how precious. Oh, so cute. I love Peperomia growing season. Oh my gosh, look at those tiny leaves. I've also got this little propagation that probably should get planted soon of the purple passion vine that's hanging up there. That thing was vined all over my kitchen, but um, because it was hanging over where I cooked, it was kind of grimy and it just wasn't really looking very happy. So I ended up cutting it all apart and keeping a bunch of cuttings to see if I could get another plant going. And that one has perked up so much since I did that. So, oh, hey, whoa, why do we have weird red lines? There's no... Oh, that's outside. Okay, I was like, huh, why do I have red eyes? Okay, we have eaten too many edibles today. All right. So I got quite a lot of plant cleaning done tonight. I've got all these guys scrubbed up and shiny. Look at the leaf on this alocasia. It's, it's insane. It's so big. So, those guys are drying. I cleaned these two off. They're always looking healthy and happy over here, but you know, just maintenance, cleaned them off. This is another one of those plants I refuse to give up on, um, and, and I'm being rewarded for my patience. So, you hang in there, baby. Shined up and polished all of these little friends here. I also cleaned my Adansonii, which I think I'm saving. It, it, it has stopped yellowing leaves. I, I don't know what's going on. I guess it just likes it better in here. I have no idea. And tomorrow I gotta clean all of these friends up here. Um, I haven't seen pests on any of these, but you know, once again, just some maintenance. You have as many plants as me, you, you have maintenance. I, I am very tired, so I think this is where we're going to close the vlog for today. Um, I will see you guys again very soon, hopefully tomorrow. I'm working on it. We're getting back to the daily. I have some very informative videos planned and coming up for you, so I'm pretty excited for you guys to see those. Uh, I hope you enjoyed a very planty vlog today, and I will see you guys again, hopefully tomorrow. What are you doing up there? Hmm? You don't fit very good.